The following is a presentation of WON Sports, America's home of champions. Live from Bolarama in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. All season long, we will be hosting stepladder tournaments to raise money for bowlers and their families to help them against the costs of fighting this terrible disease. To donate or take part, go to candlepins4cancer.com as you see it on your screen. Today, Candlepins for Cancer is pleased to present the stars of our third stepladder match, Corey Packard and Nate Lees. And here with the call of this matchup, your host, Paul Grant. Incredible performance. So over the years, you've been a pretty consistent bowler. What has been the key? It's very difficult to maintain a 117, 160, 118 average. How do you stay consistent over the years? Uh, just repetition. I have to say I, I haven't changed my style of bowling in like 15 years. So it's, it just stay steady, like slow, slow and steady. Now when you when you punch out a lot, it's it frustrating. How do you adjust when you start punching out? Do you start moving over a spot or two in the lanes? Uh, I might aim a little bit different on the lane, um, or take a little off the ball, or a little bit more on the ball. Uh, just make sure I throw it out. You know, maybe I'm just not, I'm not getting the good release, so that's probably why I'm chopping out. But. And for those across the country, and WN Network in New York and across the country, tell the boat, the viewers, what's it like to live in Sutton, Massachusetts? <laughs> uh, it's a great town. It really is. I love it there. So. All right, good luck today. Thank you, Paul. All right, number three seed, Nate, number two seed, Nate Lees. <laughs> Nate? How are you? Good to see you again, Nate. Yeah, you Nate? Six oh, 621 the qualifying round, number two seed. You threw a 684 in the same place. 682. 682, rather. <laughs> I'm on three hours sleep. Bad. I got it written down there. 682. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. feel like I have been throwing a great ball lately, except for yesterday. I didn't get anything to break up, but you know, this place is moving today, as you can see from the, the first two matches. So, can't wait. I love bowling against Corey. Um, you know, good friend. going to be a lot of fun. And if you win this, you have a chance to get $2,000 if you win this round. 500 for runner-up for third, 1,000 for second place. You bowled Corey before. Yep. I know there's no defense in the bowling. Nope. How do you stay focused when somebody gets a 169 in the first ring? Uh, I mean, you can only control what, what you can control. So I can control myself. I can't control what he does. So just got to stay relaxed and just throw my ball and see what happens. Can you tell the viewers how you first got involved in cannabis bowling and maybe a highlight in your career? <laughs> um, I mean, I, I did it when I was younger. I uh, stopped when I was like 17, 18. Just started, you know, working and didn't have time for it. I uh, got back into it in my like early to mid-20s. Um, just, you know, fell back in love with it again. And, uh, Starting to get back to how I was when I was younger, so feels good. Right, good luck today. Thank you very much. The three string format total pinball determines the winner. If there's a tie, a two box roll up, we'll get into way here from Portsmouth Bowl Rama, Fourth of New Hampshire, Kendall Pins for Cancer. Season two, ladder one, third round. The winner of this match will bowl for $2,000. Jimbo Ayotte, the number one seed at 703, will be next on Kendall Pins Bowling Network. And later on on WON Network across the country. Kill the ball in the game of all ages starting back in 1880, 15 years before 10 pins started. The difference is three bowling balls rolled instead of two. And one big difference, you can play the pin when it falls down the playing surface called the wood. You can use those shots to carry them around. Corey Packard starts off the match with the 8-10 split. And here's an example, two pieces of wood you can use. Bowling pins about 2.8 2, 2, pounds. The bowling ball's maximum is 2.7. It's got a piece of wood trying to cap it over. The 8 to the 10, I would think. Let's see how he plays it. He does! Oh, good try! A ski ball shot right over the 10 pin. Wouldn't come down for a landing. Corey, 51 years old from Sutton, Massachusetts. Starts over the 10. 451 that second round series against Keith Bopre. Keith had a 457 that first round one against John Winchell. 169, 140 first ring. And last round, Corey Packard 169, 142 over Keith Bopre in that first ring. So the first ring has been on steroids all day so far. Packard's second ball of the match. Four, five, and a ten. A few pieces of wood to work with. 
frustrating game. Some people might think, oh, it's the kids game. It's about the smaller balls. But the pins are smaller, too. That's why it's such a challenge. It's like golf. Very challenging, very rewarding. A lot of skill involved. That said, it is a good game for kids. And if you are in the area, Bay Hunt Center of come on down and give it a try. Nice try. Look, go! Oh, right behind the pink pin, the five pin. Nudged it, holds up. Corey, nine, eight, eight spears and one strike in that first string last round. That 169 first. Ten, two tens, 20 through two. And Ken Lopin, that's a perfect string. Ten spears and strikes in a string. Amazing, we've already seen two so far in these past telecasts. Typically call it a box or a frame and ten pin. Ken Lopin, they call it a box. That's right. Instead of a game, we call it a string. Ten boxes, a string. Different terminology. Ten frames a game, it's all the same. Nate Lees. The number two seed of strike to start the match. Boy, another rousing introduction. Every single time, it seems as though people are coming on out here. And once again, it's only been one box. I don't want to get ahead of myself. First string. Starting off the fireworks. It's a big trend all day so far. Five, five great bowls in showcasing this Atlanta series. Nate, three on the first ball, working a strike on lane 15. 22 lane facility. A lot of birthday parties here. Goes left and grabs three more. Slaps his thigh, one or more. Has the one, three, and the seven. 17 up to one of seven in the string, and the first of three. Nine box, 26 through two of six on Corey Packard. The number three seed, the number two seed. The runner up gets $500. The winner moves on to the $2,000 money round. The runner up of that round will get $1,000. Donations are encouraged at Canopins number four, cancer.com. Canopins number four, cancer.com. Greg, Greg Guyar here with the update on the roll offs for men and women, for all people, and the women separate one as well. Men and women invited to the October one, and then the one in December and November will be the that, That's right. The first step ladder is open. It's taking place right here at Bolarama, but be careful. It is October 11th, 13th, 15th, and 16th. So as we tape, that's a little short notice, so make sure you log on. Good try by Corey, almost. And check your, the dates. We look forward to seeing you. Live TV show will be December 18th here at Bolarama on Sunday, 11 a.m. on Candlepin Bowl Network in WON, New York. Back at a nine, 29 through three in the first of three. 29 out of 30 on three splits, very good. Also the ladies tournament coming up as well. Sign-ups for that January tournament. November 29th, December 1st, Tuesday and Thursday, 11 a.m. Saturday, Sunday, December 3rd and 4th, 11 and two. Six, six just available, $80 entry fee. Top five. Whoa! Wow, look at this, you better be kidding me. Yikes. You won't see that in 10 pin, I don't think. The five in the middle, the four, seven left, the six down the right. Pick your, wow. pick your poison this one here, Greg. This lead has gone before, but my goodness. Maybe a better chance to win the Golden Raffle. True. The Golden Raffle, Dev Regan, R-E-G-A-N, Messenger on Facebook. 200 tickets, one in 200 chance of winning $10,000, 10,000 to the charity. Every thousand dollars goes to a family member suffering chemo radiation treatment in the Kennebolan community. Nine for Corey Packard, pair of tens, pair of nines, 38 through four. A uh, four straight splits. Nate Lee's up six right now. $15,000 has gone out to families already in less than two years. Now John's doing a great job. Kennebolans for Cancer. .com. That helps cover their expenses where they're out recovering chemo. Radiation treatment out of work, $1,000 for each family. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Any amount is welcome, a dollar up to $1,000. Nate Lee's off the head pin, coming back. Won't go. Almost stole that head pin for a spare. And he gets a 10, 36 through three, up, up seven here in the first. Up against a 38 half, 38 through four from Corey Packard. Nothing lower than a nine box for either of these bowlers. Started off with a strike seven, a nine and 10 cents. Half west to right, the three nine, ouch, hate that shot. 
Punching through the 2 8 or 3 9 is one of the most notorious leaves, the half Worcester. Nice second ball, spare, beautiful shot. Pumps his fist. It's pretty when it goes. Take out a calm. Without no problem, just fly the pin across. Nice mark. A difficult leave, spare. Second mark, 46 in the ball through four. Right now he's up eight plus one. Those who tuned into our earlier episodes saw those pins flying. They certainly do here at Bolarama, but it takes a lot of doing. It Newport doesn't come easy. Newport Entertainment Center too, and now Newport, Maine is probably the fastest house in round two. Corey Packard, goes right, that's the four, spin minus one. It's the one, two, and four. Three pinners without wood go about 51%. For Candle Pimbolas without wood, stats provided by Candle Pimbola Network, where you can subscribe free on YouTube to Candle Pimbola Network. Candle Pimbola Network, free on YouTube. For a spare, off the wall, not quite. Sizzled back over, joint off the wall. How interesting. Like a pinball wouldn't go. How interesting. The first time his first ball is away from the head pin, he had the best possible leaf. Open half so far. Good pinning a 10, 48 through 5. That's pretty good in Kendallpin. He took his uh, time. Mark. He took his time with that. He knows the importance of laying a good foundation for when that mark comes. Nate Lee's doing likewise, only losing just the one pin. Nate Lee's Nate Lee's a strike in the first, a spare in the fifth. Up right. next after this six box from Corey Packard yeah. on Candlepin Bowling Network. One left, only four, maybe five. Five it is. The one, three, and the nine behind the three. Two pieces of wood behind. The four, seven to the left. Do Not you, easy but makeable. Yeah, you usually see this lead when the it's almost a half Worcester takeout, but then it chips over into the five and ten as well. Except the one came back and took out the six this time. We'll have Bob Lee in just a moment with an update. Packard going for a spare, just, just to the right. The one, four, seven, nine. Couldn't miss much in the first match, the last match against Keith Beaupre. Beautiful out for a nine. Open first six boxes, 57. That's great pitting though, two six. That's right, Nate Lees has the early advantage here, but I, um, as, as Keith Beaupre was leaving, I just confirmed he, he he donated back all of his winnings from three in a row, $125 back to Campbell Pins for Cancer. And he wanted everyone to know that seven members of his family have passed away as Nate Lees throws and draws a head pin and a strike. Strike on spare, wow! 56 through four, 66 plus two through five. That's that's right, and Keith, yeah, Keith, Keith has lost several, several family members to can cancer and he says, Charity means a great deal to him, and, uh, and he thanked Al for, for all he's done. Thanks, Bob, for the update. So I need to support Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Benefits all the bowlers, the Candlepin bowling community, and their family members as well. Many of us know someone. It goes a long way. Both my parents have lost to cancer also. Hmm. Nine in the fill in that strike. 75 half for the number two seed, Nate Lees. 10, 85 through six, up 28 in the first. And it just seems that like each bowler is getting their, their own medicine back. <laughs> each boy had a big lead and it always lost seems to the be same the, way. Now that so far in the first, same way for Corey Packard. It always seems to be the newcomer starting it up here. It is also a game of endurance and we make no illusions about the fact that we have all our matches taped on the same day. So Corey Packard having just done three strings, plus he was present for the Pro Series yesterday. So he's been doing a lot of bowling this weekend. Off to the right, just not on his game. He's hitting really well, but just not as crisp as he was last match so far. Plenty of time left. Like we talked in the, the pregame, you have to adjust sometimes when you're off. He has the one, nine, and 10. Several pieces of wood. The one behind the head pin is the only one realistically to really work with. Kind of it's got a chance. But shade that head pin inside. The 110 will be easier. It's that nine that's going to be the doozy. This is for a spare, and he got it. Beautiful shot. Got the broom off of the sweep for spare. 67 the ball through seven, his first mark of the match. And the man who's only lost half a pin per open frame effectively now has the chance to go get this triple digit pace started. The qualifying round at Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire, he threw a 148 in that first string of five qualifying round at a 605 total, had a 102, 129, 117, and 109, 605. Coming in as number 
three seed. Corey on the bonus on lane 16. Accurate shot, a 3-2 mm. split, the 3-6 on the right, the 4-7 on the left. Two pieces of wood. It's Five on the fill, 72-7. Yeah, it's a kill. You need not just the spares, but good count on each of them. Tough to get, even when you get on the head pin, as you see here. But this sleeve is a lovely to see go. Nice ball. Oh, right behind it, in front, all around. And the ball is just there. He's up to four and seven. Great effort by a great bowler, Corey Packard. Nice 10. Great eight pinning for F. Eight. Sorry, Paul. Great pinning for F for five splits. And that's a good sign, too. Some bowlers will get rattled and you know check out mentally. It gets frustrated. It does get in your mind sometimes, but you had to. You gotta hang in there. And Corey knows how to do it. Yes. We mentioned how long he's been around the game. You get that mental fortitude just by playing this game, which really is a real patience tester. He and Jeremy see him in a great battle in that Chicha 2022 this year tournament. Yeah. EP Metro Bowl, watch on Kenan Bowl and Eric. Right down to the wire. It was a thrilling match. Corey Pack and Jeremy Seaham. Another great bowl of Jeremy Seaham, too. Nate Lee's thin hit in the pocket. As the seven that goes away, now it's the eight and ten. I hasten to mention Corey is spelled K-O-R-E-Y if you're searching it up on CBN. Trying to sweep over the wood, and it goes! 95 and a ball through seven here in the first of three from Portsmouth, New Hampshire. First split for Nate Lees, and he handles it beautifully. Nate Lees, off to the right, four. Again, mad at himself, high standards. 99 through seven, up 27 right now. Any time left for Corey. Second ball, beautiful shot in the pocket, almost. Between organizing tournaments as the Pro Series and his own successes in these prestigious tournaments, Nate Lees does so much for the game. We're in the mixed worlds in June. Averill, Kit Mass, 10. 109 through 8, a 27 in the string. But Corey Packard won a good ball overall. A lot of splits. We'll try to finish up strong here in the first. 6.05 in the qualifying round. Another head pin hit, another split. Four on the right, one on the left, with two with a piece of wood. The three, six, ten on the right, the nine Ooh. behind the three pin. What do you think about this piece of wood? It seems angled. I, I think it's going to go for that wood. I, I would. He does. Well, go. Oh, yes. What a shot for a spare. Wow. Second spare of the string. 92 and a ball through nine. That's how you get it started against the two strikes and two spares of Nate Lees. Bears and seven and nine for Corey Packard to mount a comeback. Just a tremendous personality on off the lane. Just a great guy. I, I, I say great role model for the bowlers. He conducts himself on and off the lanes. It goes left. It gets five. One, three, six. Four, seven to the left. Ninety-seven through nine. Not easy. Makeable. Less than 50% odds in this one for sure. Can you do it though? Inside again! What a shot for a spare! Three in the last four, two in a row. 107 of all in the tenth. Strong finish. Very important he gets the, this next bowler. Very important he gets this next one. Could be within a couple of marks in a matter of time. With a lot of accountants here in Kennel Bowl. Danny Finn who runs the Atlanta Kennel Singles Tour. Corey Pack an accountant at Staples since 1994. Hello. And spread Eagle plus the nine on the split. Three in the field, 110. Oh. First string. I guess he hit a multiple of 10, but my goodness, all those head pin hits. Never really got a bona fide spare leave at any stage.
Nate Lees from Kingston, New Hampshire. On lane 15. On a good ball, strike! Third strike of the string. <laughs> Two spares, three strikes. For those in WN across the country network, the average Kenlipin Pro Bowl throws about 0.9 strikes per string. Good right, knew it right away, but it has the 1 4 7 10 leave. Oh boy. This is an interesting strategy note. How many pins do you try to go for? The safe way or the left way? The safe way or the. Side the head pin! Oh, what a oh, shot! Oh, Incredible! Oh, wow! Well, I tripped over myself, but Nate Lees knew exactly where he wanted to go. He went the highway, cutting the ball across into the 10. Spare on strike, 129. Through nine, 139, plus the ball in the 10. And another good shot, eight. Another good first string of 147. Hot start once again here on Candle Pins for Cancer. Nate Lees, 147. Corey Packard, 110, but still two strings to go. We'll be right back with the rest in just a moment. Welcome back to Candle Pins for Cancer on Kenneth and Bowen Network and WON Network across the country. Bob Lee with the update in the first string. Right, well, if you just joined us, that was a 147-110 finish. Uh, Nate Lees made great, great, uh, great use out of four head pin hit, hot hits, but among those were three, three strikes. We, uh, we saw seven splits from Corey Packard there, but uh, he ended up being 20 to 28 on the day. Uh, bowling first. To start string two will be Nate Lees on lane 15. Back to you, Paul. Thank you, Bob. Paul Grant, Greg Guia, Bob Lee on Kenneth and Bowling Network. And for fine, 147 first. Has a 3 1 split. The six to the right, the two, four, seven to the left. One piece of wood, possibly to help. You can turn that around going inside the two and the four. Looks good, oh, I thought he had it. What a try, in disbelief. Perfectly placed, wouldn't go. Perhaps the wood was obscuring it, but yikes. 10 to start the second of three from Portsmouth Bowl Rama, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Great place to bowl, pins are flying here. 22 lane facility, lots of arcades, large screen TVs, bring your birthday parties here. Support your local bowling centers. Portsmouth Bowl Rama, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Nate Lee's head thin. Another split, this one a baby split. The two, four, seven, the two goes. Will the nine go? Nope, but he's got wood to help. The four, seven, and nine. Looks yeah. like two or three pieces of wood from my vantage point. I'll keep my voice down so he doesn't hear me, but I believe spinning the gears might be fine, though it's drifting just that little bit apart. It's subtle, but it might matter. And a good try again, falls short. It did make the difference. That wood piece of wood just drifted just a little bit off spot. That's where Nate played it, and unfortunately it didn't carry. Sometimes too much wood is not good. 10, 18 through two in string number two of three. The winner moves on, the number one seed, Jimbo Ayotte, a whopping 7.03 at Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire, during the five string qualifier. Insane performance by Jimbo Ayotte. He'll go up for $2,000. And the run-up 1,000. Next round, the run-up this match here will win $500. Plus bonus money. Is it 18? I beg your pardon. Three spares in a row, $25. Three strikes in a row, 500. Corey Packard, down 37 coming in. It was amazing in the last match. Coming back, almost a Julian. That's the head pin's last one to fall. And Dave Julian in Canada back in the 80s made a lot of those shots and it was kind of stuck to Julian. But the head pin goes, the last pin on the strike. Big opportunity for Corey Packard. He needs quite a few marks to get back in it, but he's got plenty of time. Shout out to our friends there in Canada, the Maritimes, Kenneth and Bowling. Right on for a spare. 10 of the ball to start, the second. Three string match, total pinfall, advances. Should there be a tie, a two box roll off until someone wins. 
And don't forget all the bonus money on offer. We pay for three marks in a row and marks beyond that. And of course, $500 if anyone can roll three strikes in a row. Back and crosses over, nine, 10 strike on spare. 20 through one, 30 plus two through two. And, and that's what he's like last match. Packer's well on his way to doing exactly that. Just the study needed. Smile on his face. Feels relieved. Punch City in that first string. Nate leads two tens to start on lane 16. Nate from Revere, Mass, originally now Kingston, New Hampshire. High single 189. High triple 464, oh, high five, 698, and look at this. Oh, people, how does that happen? Wow, the five in the middle. Good luck with this one. Good try, almost. What a bid. I thought I'd get two there anyway. Well, almost two. I thought I'd get a kick off the wall. Frustrating leave, but pro bowling there, almost a 10. It's nine. 29 through three. One of those rare times where we wish we could give a bowler a fourth ball. Not how the game works, but yeah. I bet he could have gotten that one as well. Nate crosses over. Look at this. The triangle plus the four. Mm, the it, five in the middle, the three, six to the right. One piece would possibly spin around into that four. Did he pick it up? Looks good. Oh, another great effort on the object pin. He's up the four and the five. I guess the first ball is angling just a little bit too shallow off the sidewall, and that's why it's not carrying back into the deeper rows. Not it. with a nine for that box. Pair of tens, pair of nines. 38 through four in the second of three from Portsmouth. So it was 10 in the first box. I apologize, folks. I got juked by the scoreboard, but indeed he had a pair of tens to begin. I do it all the time. I do it all the time, Greg. Don't feel bad. Had it lost it. I'll say Nate, Nate is 12 for 12. He hasn't made a mark this half. Let, let you hit four head pins in the first for three strikes. He's four for, he hits all four of them now, and he's uh, open through four. Corey Packett working his strike. A perfect uh, shot. A spread eagle plus the nine pin behind come, the three. Come up and see me sometime. <laughs> it's one of the frustrations about this game. You won't hit the head pin, but sometimes it's just too accurate. I call it a sniper shot, but a bullseye. Now, second ball coming up. It's difficult to get the sticks off of this, so to speak, the pins off of this. Grabs three for six in the strike. 36 through two up 16 in the string. Trim that deficit down. Nice out, nine. Yep, that matters. 45 through three up 16 in the string. Down 30 in the match. Lost the first 147, 110. Last match, he won the first 169, 142. Oftentimes, many great teachers, especially Dan Murphy, one of the late greats and a prolific teacher of the game, he mentions the fundamental importance of the third ball and how important it is to grab those sticks because six turning those six into nine basically gains about half a mark. That's why it's so essential to success. This is the high-low jack shot, the 1710. A lot of shows have this at the end of the old Channel 5 series. Much a lot of those on Alley Chat. They did, had to do it without wood, obviously, to make money. Candlepin new gen, candlepins for kids. Beautiful shot, spare. That's the wood comes in handy. Third mark of the string, striking two spares. 55 and a ball through four. This is why we play every string. The luck tends to even out. And on that 38 mile an hour shot from Corey Packard, seems as though the momentum is starting to shift. Five spears, one strike in the match so far. Nate leads in the pocket. Nine, 10 strike. First mark of the string. Yep, he's been on the head pin throughout and finally that little extra angle to get the pin to strike further back on the sidewall. That's how you carry the back rows. That's how you put that first mark on the board. 48 plus two, halfway through the second. Goes left, only three. The ball got a little farther out there, unfortunately. Furious himself, he's hooked a lot of shots in his bills. That's why you get two on a strike. Nice ball, oh, yes! Nice comeback, spare! Strike, spare, back to back. 
Exactly, and on that shot, he got it a little further up on the lane that time, much more in Nate Lees' wheelhouse. That's how you keep the ball in the lane, that's how you keep a much more steady trajectory back-to-back -back marks. 68 in the ball through six in the second of three from Portsmouth, Bolarama. Portsmouth, New Hampshire, beautiful place to visit. Corey Pack in the head pin. Thanks uh -oh. to the triangle, but that's the seven, eight, and 10. Two pieces of wood side by side, pretty much. One drifting right. And this will be an interesting shot. You gotta love this about Caleb from bowling. Interesting. On the fill, seven, 69. Correction, 62 through four. Try to kick it over. Oh, what a try! I'll be curious to ask if he meant to play the cap on that one. I was wondering if maybe red line instead might work. He made a hand motion, perhaps that was the case, but I'll have to ask him about that one later if I get a chance. Ten bucks. 72 half. Corey Packer for something mess. 52 on November 19th. Right after the World Tournament, Haverhill Academy Lanes. Ali Chow with the finals as well. Packer trying to get back in the pin. Goes left, has the one, seven, to the right is the six and ten, two pieces of wood. Hmm. The wood on the right side of the head pin looks a little too vertical. Maybe there's a chance. Or maybe you can power through it, hit the wood, something to flex left. If he gets a spare, can you pick it up? Good try, only the head pin. Yeah, just stymied everything, unfortunately. Leaving him with this out for nine at the very least. Cut it down to 33. And nine bucks, that ball disappeared in thin air. Wouldn't be the first time. I'll stop referencing that. <laughs> now, <laughs> promise you, I've definitely overspent my quota. 24 pin margin here, pinning about the same. Corey Packer losing only five pins in the 10 open frames. Nate Lee's only three pins in eight open frames. Corey Packer 81 through six. Nate Lee's 68 in the ball on lane 16. The start of seven in the box, second string. But yeah, sorry, Mark, I'm done. On the spare fill, head pin hit, seven to three. In the middle, of four to the left, the 10 to the right. So you can use that wood. Thank you. 75 to six, what a try. Couldn't quite get to the four, valiant effort. Another piece of vertical wood just not getting the job done. You got it to go on the back end of the wood. Stay on the lane for a 10. He's not sure whether that hit the lane, honestly. Uh, we'll get a, a, it's a bolus call. I believe it was on the lane. And it is a 10. Good. After review, the bolus choice, but I believe it was on 85 through 7. It's always one of those iffy ethics things, but I think you absolutely you trust the bowler's judgment for a reason. Yeah. Nate Lees has been around this game especially for a long time. In the pocket, a little thin, but it breaks up. Oh, it gets nine out of that. Got a great, generous leave. Good piece of wood in front of the 10 pin for a spare. So maybe it'll show another thing on replay, but that's how it should be. He's right on it for a spare. Ninety-five and a ball through eight. Thank you, everyone, to watching. Of course, across the entire WON Media Network and on Candlepin Bowling Network on Facebook and YouTube. Please like the video if you do, in fact, like the video, and please like and or uh, follow and or subscribe to our page for more great Candlepin content. Corey Packard, nice ball there. No split this time. The five to the right, the eight to the left. A good piece of wood in between. Trying to get back into this match. 
for a spare. Yes. 91 of the ball, 3-7 here in the second of three from Volarama. It's difficult. We've discussed in past shows how the average spare fill is six and a half, so Corey Packard would need quite a few of those. But if the strike ball starts returning and he can start chaining even just strike, spare, strike, or even some nine drops together, this could be a different match in a matter of time. On the bonus, crosses over for a strike, nine. Huh. It's the nine pin remaining, piece of wood in front to help. Yeah. And this is why we pay $25 for chains of marks. Nice, powerful hit to follow up a great spare shot. 100 through seven. Up against a spare to match Nate Lees. Takes his time with, with the stop by Rule and Kenneth and Bowen. They must stop 100% before we throw the ball. For your 117 league bowl, a high single 195. Ooh. No! And that's the strange game about Kenneth and Bowling on the wood. Yeah. You see, playing, obviously playing it on the red line would drive it straight back. If you play it too far one way or the other, it might spin. Left side might have spun into the pin. Right side, apparently not. Paul Grant special missed the second, make the third for a 10. 110 through 8. And Nate Lees, 95 and a ball on lane 15. Al Johnson on hand and offering encouragement and, of course, the prize money for all our bowlers. He's the one who put this all together. Candle pins for cancer, a great cause for bowlers and their families. Beautiful ball, but a 1-1 one, one split. The four to the left, the six to the right. You don't see this too often, but that's on a fill. 103 through eight. Field yeah. goal. When the bowlers get those payments, it, and when families get those payments, it really goes a long way. Nate Lee's high single 189, high triple 464, has a high five of 698, it's a nine. 112 through nine, 15,000 dollars given back to Al Johnson's account for the cancer charity. That's amazing, in less than two years. Nice ball there, another split, the four, six and ten, and that's with revenue shortfalls at the casino, casino state run by New Hampshire, and couple years they'll get double triple the money that's gonna help more families right exactly so scandal for cancer is a newer charity essentially the yeah. rules are around that are the case a great event for a great cause try to sweep it over good try cancer affects all of us or a filming member right. please donate to the charity candle fence number four cancer.com any amount appreciated whether it's one dollar, two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, up to a thousand. Every thousand dollars helps a filming member. So spare a thought. Nate leaves 122 after a plethora of splits, and yet only losing three pins on the seven open boxes. So one strike and two spares, all well filled, of course. 269 is first two, 147 and 122. Corey and he, Packard needs some work here, and he's staying the course. Had a good string, but this is a perfect shot. It's a spread eagle. These go for pro bowls and Canelton Bowling about 1% of the time without wood. Stats provided by Canelton Bowling Network. Two just 20% for 10 boxes. Two perfectly hit on the head pin, indeed. And on the archer pin again, but two full. Now this will be interesting. Corey Packard's got that backup ball breaking left to right, so you would think the 2-4 pocket would be a good way to get a 10 out of this. And a tough seven that time. 117 through nine, up five in the string, but down in the match. But in fairness, it's also tougher to get that shallower angle from where he stands on the approach. So he'll need a big third string. Mark would help here. It wouldn't be an outrageous one. If he gets even 120, he'd challenge Nate Lee's to start throwing some marks of his own. Beautiful shot there, but a two one split. The four seven left, the 10 on the right. Some wood to help. One more string to go after this. The winner moves on to take on number one seed Jimbo Ayotte shortly after this broadcast and later on a WO and network across the country in New York. Jimbo Ayotte. Next. Nate Lees. Oh, what a try. Corey Packard, rather. Nate Lees will have the lead in the match. Obviously. Going into the third string. Corey Packard, valiant effort. We've seen that pin shoot across several times. <laughs> Trying to dig in that deficit from Nate Lees. 
Yeah, it's just so close on the pinning, the two marks making all the difference right now. Plus the fills on them as well, it's worth mentioning. A lot of games have won on that second ball and third ball. Right on for 10. 126 second string. 110 and 126, 36 through 2. Welcome back to Candle Prince for Cancer. Number three seed, Corey Packard, trailing in the match. 269, 237, one string to go over the number two seed, Nate Lees, along with Bob Lee, Greg Guya, I'm Paul Grant on Candle Prince Bowl Network and across the country on WON in New York. Special stop to Jonathan Rios at WON Network. I'd like to thank their affiliates also as Corey Parker starts the third string with the two and the six to the right. Affiliates such as Brooklyn Free Speech HD, MNN BronxNet, Superior Community Media, Marble Ed Community Media, and Saga's Cable Television Station. Schedule and station information available on Candle Prince for Cancer Bowling Series. When it airs, check out WONNewYork.net. That's WONNewYork.net. Packard. Sweeps over for a 10. Lost the footwork a little bit at the line, but he's on target. There's a little smile about that. Corey need a big third string to advance. Brilliant. And then last round, as was Keith Ofer in the first round. Back to back 457 and 451 we've seen today. Corey, 117 league bowler, high single again, 195. High triple 455, high five 737, high 10 1368 from Sutton, Massachusetts. Nice ball. Look at this. A 5 6 10. Now, not an easy shot. So we can use that wood. Hmm, interesting. Usually the wood camps right in front of the 6 10 on such a leave, but this time he's got it further out. So maybe there's a slightly better chance he can spin it in. Better there, better there usually in front of the 6 and 10 most of the time. Occasionally it goes. Really could use this mark. Sweeps it over and again won't go. Good wow, try. he really got that left. He thought he was going to get a helicopter effect off of that. It was a good bid. It gives him still a chance to get 10 out of this. You can see a little frustration in his face. Throwing a great ball for the most part. Just a lot of splits. Because I think he hit a spot. Yeah. Want that wood to stop again in Candle from Bowling. It must completely stop before you throw the ball. Corey, the father of two daughters, Emily and Lauren. He's an accountant, but State Bowl's not the one in the, not the, one in the movie. <laughs> nice shot for a 10. 20 through two here in the third. Nate Lee's coming up here. Has a good lead here in the third. 147, 122. 32 coming into this final string. Trying to get the $2,000 money round against Jimbo Ayo next. Starts off with four. Put the ball in the right spot on the lane. Didn't get the break he was after. It still gives him... They're all in a cluster. Good ball. He's up to five and the nine. Nate Lee's won the first ever Pro Division Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour. It's an 18... Quick schedule, flexible schedule throughout the year. Two strings, two matches a month, typically. Won a few years ago, the first round ever. Gets eight. He's down two in the string, up 30 in the match. Average between 117 and 119. Crosses over and has a split here. The five of them to the right, in the middle. Four, seven to the left. Piece of wooden back of that wobbling five pin. Overall high single 189, high triple 464, high five is 698. Nice effort, oh. he's at the four. You right. <laughs> he told me that 698, he got a five box in that last ball. The, the match gets 698. Left for a nine. Al Johnson was thinking maybe he could have gotten that a little farther right, but boy is it tough when you get split after split after split. 17 through two here in the final string of the match. He is up. Corey's up three right now, down 29 in the match. So still has a chance, but needs to get to work here on the marks. $15,000 give up to families 
in the Kenneth Long community. Time to update your count call because as of right now, there will be another family, of course, all anonymous, but 16,000 raised now for families. That's it. Every thousand dollars raised goes to a bolus family at home out of work, suffering chemo radiation treatment, cover expenses. Please help donate. Any amount will help. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Pack of despair. No. Again, split city. And a good second shot won't go. The idea of that shot was to get the ball deflecting over to the 10 pin. Three tenths straight. 30 through three here in the third. And they're doing really well. Again, they're losing only half a pin per frame. Tens won't get the job done. They keep you on course, but consider this also. Nate Lee's only has two extra marks, but four of those, it's four strikes to one. That creates an advantage inherently. He also filled them very well with an average fill at nine. Packard only got six on his. And then the spare fills, Nate Lee's is getting his money's worth on his five spares. 37 bonus pins, and Corey Packard with his six spares, 39. For Kenneth and Bolas, the average spare fill for Pro Bolas, 6.5, for strikes, 8.3. Packard, he's a mark, breaks up the split, has a chance for the seven pin, a clean shot, 72% success rate for Pro Bolas, not wooden Kenneth. And to your point, Paul, he's got exactly 6.5, Corey does. Stats provided by Kenneth and Bowling Network. This is huge, and he missed it. Mm. It's been a long time since we saw an opportunity like that one. And wasn't there for nine, 39 through four. Great pinning, but needs some marks. Maybe a strong finish, Nate Lees, trying to get into that final two spots. 1,000 for runner-up in the next round, 2,000 for the first place. 500 for the third place finish here today in the string. Coming to you live on Kenneth Mullen Network and later on in WN New York and across the country. Nate Lees avoids the lemon drop, gets two. We're asking Bolas to optionally donate $1 to Kenneth Mullen for Cancer for a lemon drop. That's the four pin or the six pin in your first shot. A fun way, double great cause. Four, seven left, the five, eight in the middle. I think of here, of all places, if they get a lemon drop, you know the finger is coming up. Not the middle one. <laughs> I hope not. Seven box for Nate Lees, just 24 through three. Corey Package shades off six off the deficit. Leads down to 26. Up against a nine box. Steals eight, has the one in 10. Doink. Nope, 10 pin won't drop. For a spare. Got it! Nice shot. Oh, good. 34 and a ball through four. Corey, you make it a small gain, but now it's gone by the wayside with that spare. Right, because Nate Lee's had lost six pins prior, so it had been dribbling just away, but an average spare fill is six and a half, and now he can make it right on back. Please help support your local bowling centers and get friends and family involved in this outstanding game of Kenlip and Bowling. Please consider Kenlip and gift cards all season long in this holiday season. Kenlip and gift cards, a gift that keeps on giving all year long, not just in the holiday season. Corey Package 7, the half whistle right, the 3 9, the seventh left. And Greg will tell the viewers across the country about the half whistle story again in just a moment. Get some wood to help. Fast any part of Kenneth and Bowling playing that wood. And it won't go right in front of the nine. Another tough break. I like this all day for him for the most part. It's a funny game, isn't it, Kenneth? Just like golf. Ten. 48 half without a mark. That's amazing. 49 half indeed. And 49 make it. So the half Worcester. Uh, Sorry, I'll get it straight this time. It was a Worcester bowler who was up in the final frame of a match against the Boston team. And lo and behold, the Worcester bowler in that premier match punched out either the 2-8 or the 3-9, and the Boston bowler retorted, well, you're halfway back to Worcester. And the name stuck, and that's 
become one of the most infamous leaves in the game today. We got all kinds of nicknames around here too. We got the Kamerowski Special in Millis, Massachusetts, the Four Horsemen. All kinds of nicknames for different bowlers. Nice ball there. Nine. Needs to convert. Six pin left up. A clean shot. The Kamerowski Special is a Paul Grant Special in fairness. 60-year-old veteran out of Framingham, Mass. Made that shot for pretty good in his heyday. And he gets it this time for a spare. Much needed. 59 through 6, plus a ball. But Nate Lee's on a spare, 34 on a ball. On lane 15 here, what's a bull around Candlepins for Cancer, Season 2. Lattice Series 1, third round. Right, the gap is 27, and we definitely went through a heavy drought here. But the bonus ball could create an advantage. Uh-oh. Ooh. Look at this. Crossed over. Only four. Yikes. Well, I thought Nate Lee's had nailed that fill, and it was going to be, well, but Nate has dominated. No. 42. 38 through 4. Sorry, 38 through 4. 42 right now with those four. Hang on, folks. This pinning could matter. This upside-down triangle is nasty to pin out. Seven. 40. Five, make it 48 half, 48 half, down one to the string of 31 of the match, I mean it's a spare. That should be seven, that should be 45. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. 10 of the boy, that's what I thought, 45. Bob Medeiros will fix that. Nate leaves, nine. Broke up that split, that uh, bundle there. For a spare. Missed it. Mmm. Break for Corey Packard. He's on a spare next. And Paul Grant special missed the second, make the third for a 10. 54 through six. Corey Packard on a spare. 50 on the ball, four boxes to go in the match. So Nate Lee started with a 37 pin advantage. Corey Packard chipped away at it with five extra with his four marks in that string. And now here's an opportunity that needs to come now now possibly, 28 right now. Possibly put some marks together and come back in this match. A strike would be huge. A strike or a spare nine would cut it into the teens. But it won't happen. The half was to right. Ouch. Ooh. Momentum killer. 61 through six. Up six in the string. Not out of this yet, but he needs to mark out. Down 26 in the match. And ouch. In the hole. It needs to pin out at minimum. Only 20% conversion rate for, for those. And beautiful out for a nine. 70 through seven, needs, a, needs to mark out to have any chance. Might but you, be in double strike territory, possibly. Packard. Post. Time could be running out. He doesn't convert. He's ahead in this string. Chance for $25 in bonus money. Open the high low jack, the 1710. Pulling since 1974. A duck pin bowler also. Out of East Brookfield, Mass. Bogey Lansy bowls out of. 2022 New Hampshire mixed teams. New Hampshire all events winner. National Championship won the last two years. <laughs> Nate, just 78 through eight. Nate Lee's a chance to put the dagger on. 55 through six coming in. Unofficial of 26 in the match. Corey Packard basically ahead by three in the string because they've each had the one spare and Corey Packard is not left only four pins standing. Nate Lee's is up nine. Nate Lee's drills eight as the Great chance the wood in front of the six and ten. In Kingston, New Hampshire. Hard last year's 2021 US Invitational Championship winner. At Academy Lane's Haverhill Mass. And a spare. 65 and a ball through seven here in the final string of the match. Interesting, he played the wood further out. I thought he might go further right to the wood over the 6-10. Nate Lees can taste the finals. Goes right and gets seven. One, two, and the 10. 72 through seven. Oh. 
Oh, good effort there. He's up to 10. He made the Pro Series players multiple times, won the very first outrun the Bear Tournament with Lori Lewis in Millis, Massachusetts. Very successful tournament run by Danny Finn. A ninth and eight leads. 82 to win, both scoring a fair. But he has a four pin lead in the string, and I believe it's 36 in the match. 81. 81 after the scoreboard correction for Nate Lees. Mm -hmm. Up three in the string. And what's the official total, Greg, now in the match? Current official total, Nate Lees 350, Corey Packer 315. It's going to take a miracle here. In the miracle zone. 5 7 split. The story of the day. We have been bereft of miracles, it would seem. But a hard won match, it would seem. Let's see. And he got a, a spare. He needed the ball for nine. Good spare, but he would need to realistically strike out the challenge. Nate Lee's here. At least a double here. We mentioned that second string where Nate Lee's had a lot of accuracy see but a, not a lot of angle and it was hard to break apart the pins but nonetheless he was getting those pins and that's how he's generated this advantage the state far ahead sales left only five and that'll do it Nate Lees will be going in 93 through 9 for Corey Nate Lees will advance to the final round against Jimbo A on next on Kenneth Mobile Network and later on on WN Network WN Network across the country Nice ball, 10 pin. It's too much Nate Lees here in this match. <laughs> Corey, a 110 and 127 his first two. And ends up with a nine for a disappointing 102 third string. It's 339 and 115 average. Nate Lees. Moving on to the money round, he had a 162 in the five-string qualifying round at Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. Bob Lee will come in with the update here in just a moment. Nate with the host, Bob Lee. Well, Nate has been phenomenal. I mean, th this is an official, he had a 451 in his first game against Keith Beaupre, right? Followed that up with a 147 and a 122. By my addition, that's a 710 for five. I, Woo! I, there aren't too many. I, Jeremy Seaholm, take note. Uh, <laughs> Leave Jeremy alone. Seven in that last box. Seven to eight leads. 88 through nine. Low scoring string, but doesn't matter. He's going on to the money round. Chance to win $2,000. Corey Pack will get Finish up the string here in the match. Keith had that 451 earlier, that's right. Nate had a 451. Nine for Nate Lees. Nate has only bowled three, that's that's not right. Corey Pack of the 451. Yeah, Corey Pack of the 451, not Nate Lees. Corey Pack of the 451. My apologies, Jerry. Hey, we're on limited sleep. <laughs> Let's take a look at the final scores, folks. Oh. Let's show it here. Nate Lees wins 366 to Corey Packard's 339, and Nate Lees will advance to face Jimbo Ayotte in the final round for the top prize. And now with the interview of the bowlers, here's Paul Grant. Corey Packard, hey. you threw a great ball, and unlike the first round where you were Awesome, 451. It just didn't fall for you this time. Isn't it a strange game how accurate it's, you can be? Yeah, it's, it's a game of specs. It really is. It, it comes and goes. You know, it happens. So yeah. frustrating, isn't it, as a bowler? Well, it, it is. I mean, it just it is frustrating. But uh, give it to Nate. He, he started off great. Got a good lead. Kept it and worked out for him. So. You got some for you here before you go. Oh. Got five hundred dollars. Mel Johnson being third place. Oh, thank you very much. Congratulations. Listen. I just want to thank your gentleman on and off the lanes, a great ambassador of the game. Appreciate your sportsmanship. Win or lose, a great credit thank to our you. game of Canada kind of Bowling. Thank you. We'll see you down the road. All right. Thanks Corey all. Packard, congratulations. Corey Packard, let's, let's bring on Nate Lees. 
Nay leaves. Magic in Portsmouth continues. Yeah. 682 the other day. It was close to 684 in line. 682. Now you come back with a 147 first swing, and you hang on to win it. Yeah, it was, it was started getting rough towards the end. I couldn't get comfortable. It was a little sticky and tacky, so it kept following through and sticking in certain spots. And he's definitely throwing his bolt off, but uh, he couldn't get a lot of breaks. Like he, he was throwing a hell of a ball, just didn't get anything extra to fall. And you know that's that's how this game goes sometimes. Now you take on Jubo A out of a 703 in the qualifying round at Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. He threw it. He was in the finals in the Pro Series last night, also. Yeah, yeah. Me and uh, me and Jumbo have some history. First time I was on TV, uh, Classic Candlefins, we bowled each other, and he smoked me. Uh, so a little bit of a rematch. And, you know, we we always have fun. We're, we're friends. We bowl each other all the time. So it'll be fun. Great chance to win two thousand dollars. Good luck next round. Thank you very much. At least congratulations. Thank you.